Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. May glove shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel, especially to all my students and all their parents and to all the followers, to the those who are interested in statistics. Good morning and make a love shout out to all of you. And if you are new to my channel, please. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Our lesson for today is how to construct a bar graph. So this is for grade 7 mathematics, a fourth quarter. It's about statistics. And this is your teacher, Marife Adonis. Okay, the bar graph. A bar graph is a graph which uses horizontal or vertical bars to represent data. So when a bar graph has bars which extend from left to right, it is called a horizontal bar graph. On the other hand, if the bars extend from bottom to top, it is called a vertical bar graph. In vertical bar graph, the vertical line is called the scale of the bar graph, while in a horizontal bar graph, the horizontal line is the scale of the bar graph. It is also called a columnar diagram. The bar diagrams are drawn through columns of equal width. Following rules will observe while constructing a bar diagram. Okay, so here, the width of all the bars or columns are similar. Okay, so parevas. All the bars should have placed on equal intervals and distance. Okay, and bars are shaded with colors or patterns to make them distinctive, okay? Types of bar graphs. Three types of bar graphs are used to represent different sets. So we have the simple bar diagram or bar graph and the combined bar diagram or graph. And we have the polybar diagram. Now what is a simple bar diagram or the simple bar graph? A simple bar diagram is constructed for an immediate comparison. It is advisable to arrange the given data set in an ascending or descending order and plot the data variables accordingly. However, time series data are represented according to the sequencing of time period. We have the simple bar diagram. Okay, so this is an example of a simple bar diagram. So we're in, we have here the rainfall in centimeters and the months. Okay. Then we have compound bar diagram. So when uh, different components are grouped in one set of variable or different variables of one component are put together, the representation is made by a compound bar diagram. In this method, different variables are shown in a single bar with different rectangles. So we have here a compound bar diagram. Okay, so this is an example. So we have electricity in billion per kilowatt hour and the year. So, okay, so this is a compound. So, so, so pansin nyo. No, uh, mayroon siyang blue, may white, and then here. So we have that means it's uh, a color, it's a thermal, hydro, and nuclear. Okay, so pansin natin, uh, thermal no is a more higher than the two. Okay. Next, we have here the polybar diagram or the polybar graph. 
So here, the line and bar graphs are drawn separately may also be combined to depict the date that's related to some of the closely associated characteristics such as the climatic data of mean, monthly temperatures, and rainfall. Okay, so this is an example of a polyed bar diagram. Okay, so so the points in your um, the rainfall and the temperature at both sides. So here the rainfall and while it, this is the temperature. Okay. Okay, so temperature is in the line graph and the bar is the rainfall. Okay, so next we have steps in constructing a bar graph. Okay, so of course, number one, give the title of the bar graph. Number two, determine the labor for its success of the graph. And three, decide if the vertical or horizontal bar graph will be used. And draw bars with the same width and space them event evenly on one axis. So the height of the bar corresponds to the frequency of Okay, so we have example number one. Arnold survey a sample of people at different basketball games to find out their favorite drinks. Okay, so we were going to construct here a vertical or, yeah, the vertical bar graph. Okay. So we will use uh, the pen, no? So, or the highlighter. Of course, okay, we will use different colors. Uh, for color, we have 25. So, if you are going to... Okay, so let's start here. Uh, so, I just use the yellow to highlight. Okay, and that's how you are going. So, did be sure na nasa nakatapat siya sa 25. Okay, so of course, uh, most people like cola. Okay. Next, for root beer, um, we have, so let's gonna change the color. Um, we'll use this one. Root beer, 20 people like root beer. Okay, so you can use different uh, colors, no? You may use crayons or uh, pencil and how you are going to construct your bar graph and then for lemon so we have let's change again another color okay this one so lemon is 10 no? all right so that means um, less no so Siguro, it depends kung paano timplahin ang lemon, no? Kasi maasim siya kapag hindi mo nakuha yung totoo niyang consistency. And then, for the fruit, okay, so, for the fruit, we have 15. Okay, so 15. And then for iced tea, there are 12. Okay, so let's change the color. Uh, okay, so for icy, we'll use red. So, 12. So, that means from here. No? Okay. So, lagpas lang tayo ng 10. Ayan. Okay. So, that, sana nakuha nyo on how this is done. So, it's important to have patience. So, it's just like 
drawing okay so next okay so let's have now a uh, horizontal bar graph so we're going to use the horizontal so napansin nyo in horizontal our iced tea now here so the types of drinks is now on the uh dito sa gilid at ang number nasa baba so that means we're going to construct a horizontal bar graph okay so for color let's start from color again so and it's we will use this red okay so so since this is 25 so like this no yeah okay all right Okay, lovely. And that's it. Okay. Next, we have root here. So, let's change the color. Okay, we're going to use this. So, for root beer. Um, okay, so there are 20 or oh, 20 people right? root beer. Yeah. Yeah, I love this root beer. Okay. Next for lemon. Let's change the color. Uh, lemon stand. Alright. And then for fruit. Let's change the color again. Uh, we have 15. And then for iced tea, we have 12. Okay, so dito tayo banda. Ayan, okay guys. So this is how we are going to construct a horizontal bar graph. Okay. Hope you have questions. So this is horizontal and question about Okay, so for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go, please don't forget to... Like... Share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three. Like. Leave a comment. And subscribe. Make a love shout out also to my good my teams no the loyal teams the uh, organic barcadas the whiteys international and the team solid family and also to my fruitist friends thank you bye bye everyone love you all